friends welcome to quick learn tutorial series in this video i will explain you n type semiconductor and p type semiconductor so before i discuss the classification of extrinsic semiconductor first we know about what is extrinsic semiconductors the semiconductors in which impurity are added is called extrinsic semiconductor or we can say that when the impurity are added to the intrinsic semiconductor which is pure form of semiconductor it become a extrinsic semiconductor so the process of adding impurity in pure semiconductor is called doping so why doping is required doping increase the electrical conductivity of the semiconductor material extrinsic semiconductor has high electrical conductivity than intrinsic semiconductor hence the extrinsic semiconductors are used for manufacturing of electronic devices such as diode transistors etc main important point of extrinsic semiconductor are the number of electron and hole in extrinsic semiconductor are not equal so which type of impurity mix in intrinsic semiconductor or pure semiconductor to form extrinsic semiconductor so, so there are two type of impurity the pentavalent impurity the trivalent impurity are mix in pure semiconductor to make extrinsic semiconductor so based on their impurity the extrinsic semiconductor are classified in two ways first is n type semiconductor and second is p type semiconductor so here in this video i will explain you n type and p type semiconductor in my previous video i have already explained extrinsic semiconductor pentavalent impurity trivalent impurity in detail so n type semiconductor what is n type semiconductor when pentavalent impurity is added to an intrinsic or pure semiconductor such as silicon germanium then it is said to be an n type semiconductor pentavalent impurity means the pentavalent impurity atom basically consists of five valence electron in their outermost orbit so the pentavalent impurity atoms such as phosphorus arsenic antimony are called the pentavalent impurity atom or also known as donor impurity atoms so this is the crystal structure of n type extrinsic semiconductor here we use pentavalent impurity phosphorus is added to silicon atom phosphorus as i have already told it is a pentavalent impurity atom so it having five valence electron in uh, phosphorus outermost orbit this is first electron second third fourth and fifth electron the phosphorus five valence electron and silicon having four valence electron 1 2 3 and 4 in the outermost orbit phosphorus atom has one excess electron valence electron than silicon so the four valence electron of each phosphorus atom make a covalent bond with neighboring silicon atom this is the covalent bond the fifth valence electron of phosphorus atom cannot be able to form the covalent bond with silicon atom because silicon uh, silicon atom does not have fifth valence electron to form the covalent bond thus fifth valence electron of phosphorus atom does not involve in the formation of covalent bond hence it is free to move it is known as free electron and not attached to any parent atom so this so that each phosphorus atom having a free electron so it donate one free electron so it is called a donor type impurity also the number of free electron are depend on the amount of impurity added to the silicon a small amount of impurity generate million of free electrons now charge on n type semiconductor so many people think that n type semiconductor has large number of free electrons so the total charge carrier of n type semiconductor is negative but this assumption is wrong even though n type semiconductor has large number of free electron but these free electrons is given by pentavalent atom that are electrically neutral 
therefore the total charge of n type semiconductor is also neutral now conduction in n type semiconductor here we consider n type semiconductor material as i have already told in n type semiconductor there are majority of free electron so the yellow circle indicate the free electrons white circle indicate the minority carrier holes so here majority carrier electron and minority carrier hole are present when we apply external voltage in n type semiconductor the free electron move toward the positive terminal of battery and hole move toward the negative terminal of battery or we know that the population of free electron is more in n type semiconductor than hole hence in n type semiconductor free electron are called majority carrier so therefore in an n type semiconductor conduction is mainly because of the motion of free electrons now p type semiconductor in p type semiconductor when the trivalent impurity is added to an intrinsic or pure semiconductor such as silicon or germanium then it is said to be an p type semiconductor trivalent impurity as we know in trivalent impurity atom three valence electron in the outermost orbit the trivalent impurity atoms such as boron gallium indium aluminum these all are the trivalent impurity atom and it is also known as acceptor impurity atoms so this is the crystal lattice of p type extrinsic semiconductor here we is used as a trivalent impurity atom and mix in pure uh, semiconductor material that is silicon when we add aluminum in silicon semiconductor we know that aluminum having three valence electron in the outermost cell these three electron and silicon atom having four electron in their outermost cell so the three electron of aluminum make a covalent bond with neighboring silicon atom this is first covalent bond second third so here we see in fourth covalent bond only silicon atom contribute one valence electron while the aluminum atom has no valence electron to contribute thus the fourth covalent bond is incomplete with storage of one electron the missing electron is called hole so each aluminum atom accept one electron to fill the hole that is why it is called acceptor impurity also a small addition of impurity provide million of holes so in case of p type semiconductor there are majority of holes as compared to electron now charge on p type semiconductor so many people think that p type semiconductor has large number of hole and current conduction is mainly due to the hole so the total electric charge of p type semiconductor is positive but this assumption is wrong even though p type semiconductor has large number of holes but these hole is provided by trivalent atoms that are electrically neutral therefore the total charge of p type semiconductor is also neutral now conduction in p type semiconductor here we consider a p type semiconductor material as we know in p type semiconductor material there are large number of holes and small number of free electrons so hole is the majority carrier in case of p type semiconductor and free electrons is the minority carrier in the case of p type semiconductor when we applied external voltage in p type semiconductor with the help of battery hole move toward the negative terminal of battery and electron move toward positive terminal of battery because hole is the majority carrier current flow in p type semiconductor due to hole in my next video i will explain you fermi level in extrinsic semiconductor so stay continue